what he's trying to do is get everybody else to believe that, you know, he's worth that money. And those teams would be the Las Vegas Raiders, in my opinion. Houston and Indy, I mentioned, because, you know, um, th- they're still in it. We don't know if they're for sure going to take a quarterback. But, you know, Bryce Young supposedly going number four to Indy. Um, mentioned C.J. Stroud going to n- number two to the Texans. But then you've got the entire NFC South which the Seahawks went 0-4 against, regrettably. But so weird. you got Atlanta, Carolina, New Orleans, and Tampa Bay. And if you look at those four right there, I mean, to me, you know, when and we've heard this said a lot, and it's not just something that gets said. It's actually true that when you know a guy. So Scott Fitter is the GM in Carolina. He mm-hmm. knows all about Geno. Right. So and not very many people do. So that, And that's a huge part of it. You know, not just like, oh, what kind of a personality? How is he as a team guy? How is he as an example? Is he going to be a leader right away? I mean, there's so many things that if you know the guy, then, you know, it makes it a lot more palatable when you're giving out, you know, big money like that. So, you know, of Atlanta, Carolina, New Orleans, Tampa Bay, I feel like Carolina is definitely a shot for Geno. Yeah, yeah, because of that familiarity, they obviously don't have somebody they truly believe in that's there right now. Right. So they, they have a need. That that would seem a logical landing spot. I don't know if you've had a chance to look at the systems these teams run, and we don't watch enough of you know the Raiders and these other teams to get a sense of Gino would really fit in this system versus this one doesn't really suit his skill set. Have you been able to get yeah. a sense of many of these teams would, that would be more advantageous for him? Yeah, I was just looking at, I know Washington, the commanders, they they want to run the ball. And, you know, you've got a defensive-minded coach there that, you know, that might be a guy. I think also in Carolina, I mean, look at the way they came in here and ran the ball. And I think, you know, if you have pretty much the same personnel that you had, those are the two teams that really stood out to me, that yeah. they, they really want to get that done. New Orleans, I mean, I don't know exactly what they're doing. I mean, we played them. You know, you saw Andy Dalton out there a little bit, and then you saw Taysom Hill just basically like we're going to use our quarterback as a running back. Yeah. And he, and he was. He and, was, and they ran for won. 100 yards. <laughs> and they won. Yeah, him and uh, – and uh, Alvin Kamara. Uh, Alvin Kamara ran for over 100 yards. So, But then, you know, the other ones that, that kind of make sense, I mentioned Washington and Carolina. Maybe the Jets. I mean, maybe there's something still there. I mean – the Robert Sala knows about him. He was here with uh, when Gina was here, I believe. So he knows a little bit about him being in the division. That's that's maybe another one. But look, the whole thing has to do with are are you willing to to pay Gino thirty you know thirty million dollars? And the simulation, which was just put together kind of by the ESPN staff, was a three year ninety million dollar deal with fifty guaranteed. And it included a $42 million signing bonus. Yeah. That sounds closer to what I think the Seahawks are wanting to pay. I, you know, like KJ, $30 million to him was like <laughs> We're not going even to the moon, that. right? We're not even going to entertain Yeah. That. So, I mean, and I don't know, maybe it, it also coincides with Pete's contract, right? Yeah. You know, a three-year deal would take Pete to the end of his deal. So, and, you know, and I don't know if Pete, to me, could go on another 20 years of coaching, but... You know, that's that's probably why they came up with that number. And I wouldn't think it, that's too far off. But, I mean, the $40 million that, you know, you hear about, that's where I think there, it's, it goes too far. 